and Phasma. Let's see if we can't peek at what is in both these guys' hands. All right, the handshake, and we'll be ready to play. See, uh, we might see an early um, friends in low places from uh, Olivier. Yep, he's also got a uh, backup muscle and an X8 Night Sniper. Not a bad start to kidding out those characters. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Nelson there, our Destiny Judge. And here we go, friends in low places. Calling that pretty well. So Tech Team goes down, and then he loses the end of the garbage shoot, which has got to sting a little bit. Mm -hmm. What a great card there with four characters. Not that hard to exhaust one. Absolutely. You you basically sacrifice one of your activations. And shut down one of those dice. two characters completely. Yeah. Worth noting, though, uh, into the garbage chute, is that only damage dice? Um, I believe so. I think so. All right, and already four damage uh, showing on uh, Boba's, uh, Boba's side here. It's a decent rollout. And so Nick will activate his Jedi Temple Guard using Guardian, uh, the Guardian keyword, to be able to remove that base uh, uh, damage side. Nice way to shut down that uh, start there. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing here he'll be able to spread a little bit of the damage on all of his characters and try to stay in the game to to get those vehicles. Yeah, to have the play. time to build those those uh, vehicles and. So still no base damage side for Olivier, but he does get a focus, so he's going to be able to guarantee. Uh, looks like Nick also has aftermath in hand. So pretty good when you have that many characters on the table, of yes, course. Yes, absolutely. I see a what, Scorched Earth for Olivier there. He's just going to discard it to re-roll. Not even going to keep the focus. He's going for damage. Wants to knock out a character early, I think. All right, and here we go. Four damage again on uh, Olivier's side with a one range, a one range, and a two uh, plus two uh, range showing. So put down the Aftermath just in case he's going to lose a character here early. It's one of those cards that just, ooh, there we go. Phasma Special. Which isn't bad uh, at this point. I mean, you have to, to deal as much damage as you can uh, early, early in the round, early in the game. Um, it'll be hard to shut down uh, yellow cards from uh, Nick's hand. Since he has two characters in play, um, there's a lot of <laughs> those cards rely on rolling on pretty vigorously there on spotting a yellow character. <coughs> oh, that looks like a dead temple guard if he wants with Boba's fe Boba Fett special. That's Worth right. noting, this deck has a has a decent matchup with all those specials against some of the the cards like into the garbage chute. They can only remove damage. They can't touch all those special sides that are going to be effectively damage. Mm -hmm. I mean. I think Nick still has a caution in hand, so if I'm him, I'm waiting to pop that as soon as he commits with the damage to one of your characters. If you're Olivier here, do <coughs> you want to go switch and, and try to target Ezra first? So, best case, you could kill Ezra with that. I think that would probably be worth it. I mean, you have enough damage showing at the moment. Yeah, you could also kill the rookie pilot, correct? Uh, that's correct. He also has seventh health. So I mean, I, I would go for one of those because you're gonna keep putting damage on the Jedi Temple Guard thanks to Guardian. And it looks like using the Boba Fett special, he's gonna go for that rookie pilot because that is the one that'll grant the rerolls for the vehicle dice. So that's right. In this deck, maybe a little bit more of a threat than Ezra. And there we go. The caution on the rookie pilot. So I don't think there's anything uh, in Nick's list that relies on having a red character in play um, or spotting a red character. Not off the top of my head, no. I don't think so. But I think it's still the best choice overall. Yeah. <coughs> and keep in mind, killing Ezra won't turn off spot yellow because That's right. there's still the hired gun. That's right. So we've got a caution played on Nick's side here to uh, try to, try to uh, um, have uh, the rookie pilot uh, stay alive for a little longer. And there you saw Olivier switch targeting again back to the Jedi Temple Guard. Mm -hmm. Rookie pilot rolling out, re-rolling the special of the airspeeder into two ranged. 
Not bad. No, and that's four damage for a resource. So Boba Fett, with three damage on him here, still has eight to go. And two hurt characters over on Nick's side. As we go to the top of round two. Yeah, and we'll get to Flank, airspeeder, pin down, resistance bomber, and into the garbage chute. That's a pretty great draw. We have a uh, doubt, a probe, and a uh, hidden, hidden blaster. blaster in Olivia's and hand. And I think another friend's in low places, actually. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> or is that a hasty exit, maybe? The There's definitely a friends in low places in there. Or no, 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 I think you're right. Actually, we might. Yeah, Tactical Mastery is in there as well. Mm. So, uh, end of round one, uh, <coughs> a lot happened. We can see that um, uh, Olivier was able to deal a lot of damage uh, right from the get-go. And um, Ooh, the probe Nick, first. Nick has already three supports on the table, and we'll expect to see more uh, um, going along. So Nick really doesn't want to lose his uh, other end of the garbage chute here, I think. That'd be devastating. And he picks a flank, I believe. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the flank here, uh, another great card when you're running a four, yeah, uh, yeah. four character uh, deck list. In a matchup like this, it's going to be on almost the whole game. Because mm -hmm. you, to be able to play it, you need to have more uh, characters, more ready characters, more ready characters than your opponent. Yep. So with four uh, characters in play, you're pretty much assured of, of doing so. And it's even better in this match because that doesn't rely on damaged dice. It can remove any die, including those nasty specials. <laughs> yeah, those pesky specials. We'll see a lot of them today. All right, so Boba is activated here, and we have a disrupt, a blank, and a plus two range damage. Let's see. Nick is contemplating activating a support and he's going to roll the uh, air, air speeder and he'll roll a discard side. So Olivier will activate uh, Phasma. Ooh, that's a good roll. Oh, right. Six damage. Plus the, the plus two on the Into the garbage showing. shoot. Into Here we the go. Garbage shoot. And Actually, that was, yeah, eight. It was an eight damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both base sides there, I think. So he'll remove the Captain Phasma dice. Leaving those uh, modifiers with nothing to modify. Absolutely. That's the, that's the idea here. <coughs> if push comes to shove, um, Nick can still take advantage of that Guardian uh, ability to, um, to remove a, another base damage. Yes, that's why he's keeping that Jedi Temple Guard ready as long as he can. So doesn't have the battlefields. He's going to have to pay full price minus the tech team for these vehicles. That makes the airspeeder a little easier to get out. Um, but Olivier is going to have to just re-roll looking for the base damage sides. And with the fastest dice off the table, that's a little bit harder to come by now. Yeah, yeah. But was only got the one. He could he could roll a special and try to... And try to. So he's going to reroll the X8. Get another two damage. But what do we have here? He did get it. He got the one base range damage on Boba Fett. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking we're going to see Guardian or just pin down. Unless he has some removal <coughs> in hand and he's he has a pin down. Yeah, so. I don't know. He, he does have one money too. Yeah. But he's just going to Guardian it. It won't kill the character. So it's probably better at this point to put the damage on the on the Temple Guard. Now, it doesn't look like, well, I don't think Olivier's running, or excuse me, Nick's running any healing in there. Does not look like it. So Nick was pretty much uh, pr pretty much able to uh, shut down um, Olivier's turn here. Yeah, uh, always feels good when you're playing these vehicle decks. Dice. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, looks like a dice uh, rolled <laughs> almost <laughs> off the table here. The support decks like this, they really have that slow burn thing going where it'll look like they're losing and losing and losing right up until the moment that they 
you know, come out for a turn and do 20 to 20 damage to your whole deck. So Nick is playing pin down here to remove the uh, X8. So it's another damage that's not going to go through. Just absolutely locking down uh, Olivier's dice on this round and just letting him build his board state here. Mm -hmm. Taking his sweet time, waiting to get, uh, you know, get his dice to where he wants them to be once Olivier is out of cards, out of resources. Because what you're looking at for a Boba Phasma deck is basically uh, play fast, play aggressive. And so if your opponent is able to shut that down, it's it, it can get very tricky in the in the end game. So he just rolled into the two damage on the airspeeder with the rookie pilot re-roll. Say that three times fast. Yeah, yeah he's going to pitch the bomber. He's still got the airspeeder in hand, which he uh, doesn't have the cash to play at the moment, but it looks like he can get it from the temple guard. Ooh, that's, that's a... That's not bad. That's four another damage. four damage, yeah. Plus another airspeeder yet to be rolled in. And that's what you expect from a vehicle's deck is, you know, let your opponent play his turn, uh, maybe claim, and then activate yep. all your supports <coughs> and get that damage in. Absolutely. A favorite archetype of mine to play. So Boba uh, Fed has four health left at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Jedi Temple Guard doesn't last another round here. Yeah, I gotta think he is not long for this world. So Nick is playing his second uh, air speeder. Played it for only one cost, thanks to the tech team. Rolls in and get a Just shield. A shield. That's <laughs> That's where to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, defend that rookie pilot. He's the only other one hurt, and at this point, Temple Guard's probably a lost cause. Whether you guardian it with a shield or not, you're still going to die. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So players are drawing their hands. And let's see. We have so another hidden blaster in Olivia's hand, a he doesn't like you, a bait and switch, and tangle, and another card I missed. I saw R2-D2 over here for Nick. A holdout blaster? I think, yep. So Nick loves having his battlefield, of course, but in a deck like this, you're usually not going to have it after the first turn, but even that first turn extra resource saved there is hugely impactful. I believe Olivier is contemplating uh, overriding his X8 for another for a Hidden Blaster or a, uh, or a Holdout, and I think he's going to do so. Yeah. So Holdout Blaster comes in. X8 comes out. Now, is that to get rid of the pay side? I believe um, I believe he wants to be able to play his other upgrade, the Hidden Blaster, later this turn. And if uh, Boba Fett uh, ends up being defeated... Oh, it's because it's redeployed. They will redeploy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry, it's still early. <laughs> All right, two Ooh. Boba specials. <laughs> Nick, Nick has to be real happy he did not play right. the uh, Resistance Bomber there to give him some big numbers to trigger off of. And there's a scruffy-looking nerf herder. So I'm guessing he picked Event? I would think. Yes. That was the Entangle that was discarded there, thanks to scruffy-looking nerf herder. Nick's got a Caution R2-D2. That's maybe a Rally Aid there in the back. Mm -hmm. And Jedi Temple Guard, as called there, goes down. It's only a matter of time, but uh, did his job as kind of a blade of armor for the rest of the list, I think. Absolutely. Bought him some time. So a scruffy-looking nerf herder, if, you, if you're not, a, not very familiar with that card. Um, it's a, a one-cost event. It's yellow, uh, hero only. And it says, choose one of the following card types, event, support, or upgrade. Then look at an opponent's hand and discard a card of the chosen type from it. So, similar to the um, Friends in the Places, you can get some cards from your opponent's hand to... Yes. It's been a great card for mill decks, too, to be able to target those things like Ancient Lightsabers and things that are 
really able to drag out a game mm -hmm. and stop that mill win condition. At this at this stage in the game, there's a lot of uh, very valuable cards. So if you get just one of them out of your opponent's hand, it's it's it can be key to and winning. It's got the a game. little bit of a problem here. There's a lot of damage showing over on Olivier's side, and you know without that die in the pool, cautions off, and I don't think he's got any other good control here. We have a bait and switch, and bait and switch has ambush, so he's going to resolve all that damage right away. Oof, and that's five damage. Uh, yeah. Five, Five on Ezra. On Ezra. Wow. Threatening now. He, does he still have... The only danger to that is Boba's special now just got worse. Yeah. Yeah. He can still play the waiting game and see what uh, Nick rolls in. And, I mean, kind of stinks for Nick that the die he has in the pool can't really help him with caution mm -hmm. to he's sitting protect on that a, character. He's sitting on a he doesn't like you, I believe, still. So um, he'll have to keep one of his dice in the pool to be able to use that. You're talking about Nick? Uh, Olivier does. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, able to Ezra remove goes down. maybe an airspeeder dice. Ezra defeated, of course, by the Phasma special there. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't think that Nick has critical mass of vehicles here to, to power down Phasma, even if he kills Boba Fett this turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, and C-3PO comes C3PO on the board. C-3PO could help. Uh-huh. But, man, I think it's going to be an uphill struggle with damage already on the rookie pilot. Yeah, he has and a lot of shields. Just a hired gun, yeah. He's out of cautions. He's rolling the damage on those airspeeders, though. That's right. Airspeeder also has a great special for a vehicle deck like this. You can trigger that special, draw more cards, and continue re-rolling into your, your, your max damage on everything else. So Olivier has a dilemma here. Uh, he can either resolve his Boba special, which he's going to do, <coughs> or um, to take advantage of that two um, yes. range damage showing on Nick's side. Or he, do the or he doesn't like you. Or do the he doesn't like you to remove it. I think he wants to sit. Actually, he can now do both, right? Yeah. Now he now he can do, he can do it. All right, so, but you're right. Um, all the supports showing on uh, Nick's side of the board are um, not the ones that are very scary. Yeah, they're the more support supports, Olivier. not the damage-dealing ones. Mm -hmm. And C-3PO is great. R2-D2 is great because uh, he has no uh, blank sides. His air speeders allow you to draw more cards. And uh, uh, the tech team and uh, Aftermath are also really good supports. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that Ooh. just got interesting. Well, does he got the he cash? To re oh, yeah, he does. He doesn't like you sc scumming here for sure. Yeah, it's going to save him two damage. <laughs> but what a, uh, what a change there. That's still six damage. Six, that's going to seal the deal on Bubba Fett mm -hmm. and start in on Phasma. A roll like that, man. All right. And Boba Fett goes down. Boba's down in the holdout redeploy, so Phasma's now packing triple blasters against a wounded rookie pilot and a hired gun with some air support. So you trigger R2 to draw the card, and maybe you get another vehicle you can play. Yep, and then, fo mm -hmm. yeah, then you can focus that vehicle to whatever... Uh, Whatever it is you need. And Nick has still plenty of resources because he he's playing damage. Aftermath. I didn't see what he drew here. I didn't oh, see yeah, Aftermath is what's given all that cash. Yeah. It's a great first round drop in uh, in this kind of matchup. All right, so he has five he bucks. The round with five resources. That's great. Oh, he drew a pin down, it looked like. Another so tech team, a Fang Fighter, that'll help. I thought they saw one other support in there, but hard to be sure. Olivier has a bet bait and switch. Another holdout. Hold out. Um, What's that explosion? Is that plant explosion? Tr shrapnel, blast? Sh uh, tr shrapnel blast? Oh, yeah. I think, I think it's that. That would fit better with uh, what it looks like he's going for. 
I think that is Shrapnel Blast there on his deck list. Olivier, we love you, but your handwriting's not amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, overwriting? Uh, yeah, he overwrote the holdout with the holdout. To be able to... For the activation? Activation, yeah. It's a strange, a strange play. Not exactly sure. Uh, that is indeed what happened. That yet yeah, it seems weird to me. Okay, that's pretty good. That's what, two, four, six, seven damage right out of the gate. Now two base sides, so you're gonna have to remove two dice to stop it. And I don't think that uh, Nick has that. So the rookie pilot goes down. Twelve health remaining versus eight. But that's most of the damage potential for um, Olivier's list this turn. Mm-hmm. And so maybe with the Fang Fighter, Nick can pull this out here. <coughs> Fang Fighter, of course, has Ambush. So he's going to also throw down the, oh, the Y-Wing. The y -wing. So the y wings going to be a guaranteed, what, three damage now since the c 3 is in play? Unless Nick can remove that. Mm -hmm. And he still has two resources on his side. So he does. If the, if the uh, Y-Wing special comes in, he can spend oh, those. Oh, yes, yep. Looked like one from the view I was looking at. But now uh, those, you know, uh, vehicles, those carry vehicles <laughs> comes in play, come in play. He's got some options. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a, there was a quick draw played underneath that other holdout. Oh, that I see. That would be why he did that. I and see. that's how he was able to just pop, knock out the rookie pilot. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things, if you're not watching at that exact moment, you're not going to see it. So rolling out to a whole bunch of nothing to start with the vehicles. Olivier just biding his time, waiting until there's a threat he needs to address. Mm -hmm. He's got a backup muscle. Not going to help him right now. No, it's, it can be good later, but you still have to survive this round, and there's probably a lot of damage coming your way. So discard a reroll. That was a uh, Y Wing special here. Yeah. Uh, so any money you spend here is quite potentially. Right here comes the Shrapnel Blast. It's not a card we see uh, much. Uh, it seem it doesn't see much much play, but um, it is it is indirect damage and it's removal. So yeah, deal one indirect damage to an opponent, and then you may remove a character die belonging to the character that was just dealt indirect damage. So he was able to remove that hired gun die at least. Now just a bait and a switch and a backup muscle, not a lot of options. All right, so here comes the handshake. Yeah, he knows he can't... Uh, All right. Can't live through it. Yeah. So he was waiting on... He was sitting on take prisoner. All right. Great great game. So there you go. The vehicles pulled it out at the very yeah, end. Yeah. <laughs> uh, slow. Yeah, that's, and that's what it is.